Look here. Look here, this is wild whorehound. It's the stuff they make whorehound beer out of. It grows wild all around uh, the central west, at least, of New South Wales, where I am. It has that sort, sort of salty sort of text, uh, scent to it. It's what they make whorehound beer out of. It's handy to know because it grows everywhere, look. It's just there for the beer making, for the brewing. It's there for the brewing, if that's what you really want. What's the Latin from memory? Is it Marubi Marubium vulgare? I'm not sure. There's a white whorehound and there's a black one. Look, oh, this must be white. Anyway, this one's got, look at the blooms. This one's got yellowish blooms. Whoops. Can we see? I'll have to do a close-up, but this one's got yellowish blooms. It's very tough. Oh, there's a tiny little green grub. I'd better put it back. Tiny little green grub anyway. They're growing wild and they're quite tough because this is a very hot dry place in summer and they can clearly survive and multiply. And it's handy to know if you want to make your own uh, uh, temperance beverage, you know. Whorehound beer isn't, doesn't have to be brewed with a lot of alcohol in it, just a, a nice drink for children. Anyway. Is that someone coming? No, I thought that was someone coming to bother me. No, it's not. Lovely whorehound beer, anyway. And if you can recognise whorehound, you can always use it. I'm not going to describe it because I'm not a botanist. I don't pretend to be able to describe plants in a botanical manner. I'm no wild food expert. I'm just looking at the fact that uh, whorehound is growing wild in New South Wales in the countryside and that you can use it to make your own whorehound beer out of. And so that's interesting. Let's have a little close-up look of it now. Well, this is all wild whorehound, just how it looks growing. It's a bit of a close-up of its leaves and things. That's what it looks like if you want to learn to recognise it. I'm no herb expert or anything. But it's a nice little bushy little shrub affair. Just a small little bush. Let's do some more footage of it for you so you can learn to recognise it. holding the camera as steady as I can. That's what the little flowers look like. There are two sorts of whorehound. I think there's a black one and a white one. This one has white flowers anyway. Perhaps that's why it's called white, I wouldn't know. This is handheld photography, so it's a bit shaky. It's um, a little bit silverish and slightly velvety to the touch. It's lovely stuff. It's beautiful stuff. It has that distinct scent that it has. Nice scent. Oh, look at those lovely soft leaves. Well, they're not soft there. Uh, I thought they were going to be. I'm so used to touching wormwood, but these are... Oh, there's a little grub just there. Can you see that little grub? Probably not. A little green grub. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's uh, not that soft to the touch, but compared to some things, it's soft. It's... Um, it does look a bit like mint, doesn't it, or something? It's a bit minty to look at. Just looking at it anyway. I 
looking at whorehound here. Wild whorehound. Here's a better look at those flowers. There's the flowers. There are the flowers. That's what the flowers look like. Handheld. Tiny little flowers. Looks like they've got a little black spot in the centre of some of them. That's a little. They've got a little black throat or dark blue throat. It's very tiny anyway. So, just to look at the wild whorehound anyway. It's good to know what it looks like. If you want to brew your own whorehound beer. See you for now. Wild whorehound.